All right, back for uh, th this might be the last gameplay of zombie. I I don't know, but I I I really feel like I'm getting towards the uh, the uh, the end of the game here. Could be wrong. I don't know, but uh, this is the same day as my last gameplay. I just went on a walk and uh, did a couple things around the house. So now that I'm done with that. <clears throat> I'm ready to play some more. So, I just got to remember where that door was. You know, it's a shame you can never get in this room right here. All right, what if? No, yeah, he's he definitely ain't there. Okay, where is that? Oh, it's locked. So where was that door that I saw? I think it's this way. It's not this way. This is this is just a room. kill this guy over here because oh hold on. what's out here oh this bridge is all fucked up now well, okay, that's not good. Um, yeah, I guess we have to go in that vent. I'm kind of scared to go go in here. This is all blocked off. Okay, how did you... How did he get through there?
Oh, right here. Hey, buddy. What the fuck? He just, he just fell down. He fucking gave up. I'm not gonna lie, I, I kinda panicked there for a second. Alright, um, okay. Listen to the sound effect when she pushes something. Okay, not that one. Not that one. Kinda that one? No. It's kind of that one, but it, it, it kind of sounds like that noise from Roblox. The oof. Like a little bit. Right? No? Just me? I swear the uh, in one of these rooms, I swear there was a uh, retinal scanner. I swear there was. Wasn't this way? I swear it was in one of these rooms. No, it wasn't this one. Ah, shit. I don't know. Okay, well, whatever. I'm just gonna go back. Uh... No, it definitely wasn't down here, for sure. Was it up? No, it wasn't up. I don't know. I'm all turned around right now. up oh no I, I don't have any c4 oh oh okay oh here he is Uh-huh. 
Queen's letters. You know, I probably should be reading all this stuff, but I ain't. It's my gameplay. I'll do what I want. Oh, this is bullshit. I guess I'm using that health kit now. Oh, I guess I have to go in there. Physics! Wait, what's this? Is this a trip bar or is this a te a texture glitch? I'm gonna assume it's a texture glitch. Oh, <laughs> that's typically how that would go for me. Uh oh. I noticed my radar isn't radaring, so there must be one of those static zombies around here. a vent zombie oh and i can't lose this guy oh oh a large make it hell yeah it's a vault i'm playing fallout you know, I've never played a, a single Fallout game in my entire life. True story. I confess. Uh. What the hell do I do in here? Oh. I don't think I could have articulated in words how pissed I would have been if that explodey zombie w would have killed me.
no idea if I'm going the right way or not. Was the music supposed to stop? No, I don't think this is the right way. Maybe it is. I don't know. I, I feel like I zig when I should have zagged. This place is amazing. The doors are closing on me, so I, I don't know where to go. I, I made it back over here so yeah I think I just have to go like like all the way around which is annoying Back in the sewers, huh?
Um, God, I like stocked up on uh on ammo for the uh assault rifle. idea if I'm going the right way or not. I mean, there's a bunch of enemies here, so I assume it's the right one. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm trying the video game tactic of if there's enemies, I must be going the right way.
collect gear from the safe house chest. Okay. I need some healing items and shotgun shells. I don't I don't know if I have any assault rifle ammo left. Let's see. Oh, I see how it is. You're all bloody plotting and conspiring behind my back. The doctor, the ravens. You know what? Fine. Try to save yourself. Die in the fire for all I care. You're no survivor like me. None of you are. You're nothing to me. Go on! Go! Get out! You people are no better than the plague! I gave you shelter, weapons, equipment. I taught you how to survive. You'd be dead without me. And this is how you repay me. You needed me. Oh, you're all grown up now. Strutting off on wild goose chases all by yourself. Sticking your neck out. But just remember where I found you. He's uh, really upset with me. zombies I've never, I've never actually seen this many before and it Straggler.
This is the prepper. Do you read me? Over. Uh, okay, cool. I did it. Great. Right. <laughs> Yay, I finally beat this game after like a decade of playing it off and on. Or trying to finish it. Um, cool. Yay, all right. God um, save our great. What do I think of the uh, or zombie? I, I keep wanting to call it zombie you. See, I, here's why. This game, when it first came out, the first time I ever heard of it was on the Wii U. I don't know if there was another version before the Wii U. Um, and I think it was one of the launch titles on the Wii U because I, I remember getting it as one of my first games. And, and I could be misremembering, but I got the Wii U like right when it came out that was like 2000 i want to say 12 or 13 because i got lucky and i was just i lived up in anchorage at the time and uh there was a best buy there's like two of them in anchorage it's the one off diamond boulevard if you know what i'm talking about and i just happened to go in there just randomly like on a tuesday because i was off work and i come around the corner and there was just a wii u just it was like there's only two left and i asked the guy i'm like i'm like can i buy this he's like yeah it's there and i'm like no way like i thought these would instantly sell out and he goes well he goes the the problem with the wii u is that a lot of people don't even know what it is like uh this is loud turn that down a little bit um he goes, a lot of people think it's like some accessory for the Wii, so no one's buying it. And, you know, that's a whole different conversation on that that debacle on the Wii U. But anyway, this game. So this game, uh, is, I think this is like an underrated gem in the zombie game uh, genre. I don't think a lot of people know about this game. Um, I, like most people ask him like oh have you played a game called zombie and they're like no it's that you know and i describe it they're like oh that sounds a lot of fun and it is it's a super unique game i can't think of another game that plays quite like this and what was really interesting and it, it may still work now if, if i had friends that played this um but when it came out i played it on the wii u and in that game like like in this gameplay you know when i when i hold l1 it would it would bring up the scan pad thing and you would i would look around and scan shit well on the wii u version when you would hold that same button you had to look at the wii u gamepad and like move it around to scan the room and your inventory and map and everything was on the gamepad so if you go into your backpack your character would just be sitting there on the on the main screen and then you're on, on the wii u touchpad moving shit around your inventory it was a super unique experience and i don't think any other game has ever come close to really really utilizing the wii u gamepad uh, as cool as that um aside from maybe like i don't know maybe one of the zelda games um but no this game's badass like it's got fun gameplay it's got a fun loop to it it's got some kind of metroid kind of veins where like you get some more upgrades you can go back and unlock shit that you couldn't do before upload codes that you saw but it didn't know what it was and i i do like that that element where you backtrack and explore finding the letters was kind of annoying so i wasn't a huge fan of that but it wasn't terrible i was just kind of like all right like this maybe could have been like to me would have felt like it was just like a like a fetch quest all of a sudden which I, i'm not usually a fan of but whatever it's fine it didn't ruin the game i i, I only really have I don't know maybe one complaint about the game that i can think of off the top of my head maybe two the first one is those glitches where you try to loot stuff and and your character just keeps standing up randomly that's just a glitch but it, it is an annoyance so that's that's a problem for me um and i would say because i played on an easier difficulty just so i could finally see what the game's like and beat it all the way um on normal difficulty this game's fucking hard man it's hard as shit um because like the zombies it happened to me once my first character our survivor like zombies can just grab you randomly and they kill you all right there's no surviving it like you just get grabbed and you die and it, it's it's random it can happen at any point and that kind of sucks because then you got to go back as another survivor but that's that's the gameplay loop on this is if you die you get to go back to your now zombified survivor and keep going you know um and 
when this game was new, if you had friends that played this, you could encounter your friends dead characters as zombies so you could kill your buddies zombie and and get their loot and i thought that was super cool so i remember i have a buddy uh his gamer tag is something like inept ninja or, or something like that I, I i'm blanking as to what it is right now i think that's what it is but anyway i'm like playing this game and i come around the corner and i, and I see one of those zombies with a backpack and it said like you know inept ninja and i was like oh shit, he died <laughs> so it was it it, it it was really interesting and and I would love to see a game like this expanded like uh I mean it could be open world I suppose that's always the popular thing to do with with games nowadays make them open world but make it to where you can come across um you know survivors dead bodies or I guess zombie bodies and you can get their shit I think that would be a really really cool idea um i i just i really can't think of another game that plays quite like this it's super unique and with the scanning and looting and limited inventory and the different survivors you can play as and the zombies the the one thing i i, I like that they did like they added some different kind of zombies to spice it up a little bit but they didn't go overboard they didn't go like left for dead style you know zombies or like even because i just played this game fairly recently like you know red dead revolver undead nightmare where there's like multiple different kind of zombies i'm like dude i don't need all that this game has like what three four different kind of zombies i think or five i guess like you have the regular ones the explodey ones which i died to twice <laughs> um the ones that give you upgrades and they have like red smoke on them and then there's the, the spitter ones. I think that's it, right? Like I, I got, I don't, I don't think I'm forgetting one. So you know, as far as you know, diversity of enemies, I, you know, it's got a diverse enough amount. Um, I will say the, the gameplay. Uh, you know a lot of games will throw kind of new stuff at you in new elements and things like that this game doesn't necessarily do that it just gives you different kind of like upgrades right so like you'll have the same tools but like your tools get better like your prepper pathing gets better your weapons get better you'll get some new items unless you unlock different areas but as far as like the moment to moment gameplay of fighting the enemies and the enemies themselves it's all kind of the same like it never really changes um, I will say that melee feels pretty good in this game. A lot of games don't get melee right for zombie games. Or like it feels kind of weird. This game feels pretty decent. Like it's not amazing, but it's, it's pretty good. Um, I had always hoped there'd be a sequel to this. Um, even though I never, I, you know, this is my first time beating the game. But I, I, I would have bought the sequel just to see what it was. But, um, I actually don't know the history on this game at all. I, I truth be told i don't know i mean i could probably watch I'm, I'm sure some nerds done a youtube video about the history of the game so oh you like know who who i should who i could send a message to and, I, and, and i'm maybe he's done an episode but that matt matt mcmuscles fella he does all those um what happened videos i wonder if he's done a what if on zombie huh, i'll have to look that up later because he he does a really good job on his um uh storytelling and his investigations into well you know what happened with the game or movie or whatever or tv show so i like wonder if he has a video i don't know i'll have to look that up but I, I i would love to know about the development history on this game and i i would love to know like why there wasn't a sequel um because it's disappointing that there isn't this this game this game's really good and for you know yeah it's 10 years old but it's a really good game and i and i actually uh recommend it i will say though if you're gonna play it i say the first time if you have a wii u play it on the wii u the first time it's it's a very unique experience and one of the and again in my opinion but i think it's one of the best uses of the wii u gamepad that that i can think of um, but if you can't play it, I played it on PlayStation 5. Um, I, I don't know if this is a PlayStation 4 game or not, or port, but 
it played just fine um I, I can only think of like a handful of visual glitches that i encountered uh specifically in that sur sur survivor arena thingy um i didn't like that part of the game that's the one part of the game if i if you ask me like we'll point at something and say like w what part didn't you like i'd pick that that survivor arena thing felt so dumb like because it didn't go anywhere like you go there you get caught it turns into like a circus you get out of it and then it's like you can go back there but no one's there but like you still hear people cheering and stuff i'm like i'm so confused i'm like so are there other survivors or not like what the hell so that part sucked um but i know now that you just have to run around the area and you'll find a bunch of mines and shit which i didn't know the first time i played that so knowing what i know now i don't think i would have such a hard time with it um god what a fun game i'm really glad i i i came across this because i i was gonna do a gameplay on the wii u version but then i thought no that's gonna be too annoying because no one's gonna be able to see my uh pad right because there's no way to capture that footage on the pad itself so then i was like all right well then i will do it on pc and there is a pc version but it is not good it's a lot of bugs it's janky there's a fan patch which allegedly fixes like most of the issues um but there's still some kind of glitch that can occur and i i I'd have to go look to tell you what it is but there's some glitch somewhere that can prevent you from being able to beat the game do you know how pissed i would have been to go through you get to the end of the game and i can't beat it because of some kind of glitch i would not have been happy so um i actually don't know how i stumbled across this on playstation i think i was just browsing the playstation store because i had the playstation plus thingy and i was just looking for like oh you know what what games are out there and uh <laughs> i like see it and i was like oh no way zombie and i and i fire it up and i'm like well i'm just gonna play it for 15 20 minutes just to kind of see how it plays and i ended up playing it for like two hours and i was like well fuck, no i'm doing a gameplay about this so i stopped everything and restarted and you know here we are so i'm, I'm glad i randomly came across this um i definitely recommend this game especially if you like you know zombie games if you like sur survivor games if you like um you know first person games like this is a very very unique experience um that i just off the top of my head can't think of another game that's quite like this so now leads the, or begs the question of okay well now what game do i want to play um i tell you a game that's been on my mind for a while now i mean a while and i mean like past like two three four years is dead island but i don't know if i want to delve into dead island because i did my whole gameplay series on um dying light i didn't do the dlcs and things like that because they're not really you know canon story things they're just dlcs however there's dying light 2 and i do own that game um so i'm thinking maybe i go back to dying light or dying light 2 and play through that and beat it and then um the other game i was thinking of that actually when i started the stop process uh dead dead island i fled you know me and like i guess it's a first person zombie thing for me i guess is really what i'm learning here is you know i remember starting dying light years ago like twice and i could never finish it stop playing it i started this game multiple times you know never beat it stop playing it um i've started dead island at least five times never beaten it you know n never finished it because it just it never holds my attention long enough so oh and same thing with um oh oh what are those games called where you're like that it's a capcom game uh uh, uh dead rising i've i've started dead rising probably seven times and i've never finished it so clearly I have some kind of mental blockage between me playing a zombie game and finishing a zombie game. Because the only zombie games that I can ever seem to finish are like Resident Evil. Um, the only other game series that I've finished, at least up until the point that I was current with the games, was the uh, uh, Telltale Walking Dead games. Um, I'd love to do gameplays on all the Telltale games one day. There, there's a lot of games I want to do gameplays on. It's just 
I play through games so slow and, and I play through them so infrequently. Like right now I'm on vacation. So like I have no reason other than I have nothing else to do to sit down and play a game every day, at least for, you know, two, maybe three hours. But I promise you, once these credits are done and I, and I wrap up this recording, I'm going to get up, I'm going to go in my living room, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to watch a movie or two or three or four. And that's what I'm going to do the whole rest of the day. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm not going nowhere. I'm just going to do that. And, uh, you know, when it's a normal work week, I typically don't play games during the week because I wake up super fucking early to go like exercise and work out and shit. So I can have all that done. Then I go to work and then I work my ass off all day. And then by the time I come home by like 530 or whatever time I'm usually home, I'm usually so like mentally wore out and exhausted that I don't want to do anything. I don't want to play a game. I like, I want passive media and by passive media, I mean, I usually watch YouTube like the rest of the night until I go to bed, you know, even watching a movie is like kind of too much for me. Like it's too engaging because I have to think about what I'm watching and I don't want that, you know? And, uh, so typically I, I'm a, I've turned into a weekend warrior for gameplays or I mean, I'm sorry for gaming. We're like, I'll only play Saturday morning, Sunday morning, and then that's it. Right. So imagine, try, you know, ha having this channel like this, okay. Your Kinzo gameplays, you do video game gameplays. And I do <laughs> just at this incredibly slow plotting great kind of like the zombie oh tied it all together um okay well these credits are like going on forever and at this point i'm like running out of shit that i can think to talk about uh uh um you know the thing tim cummins the the thing about dead island that annoyed me and part of the reason i never really got super into it was there's this trailer that they came out for Dead Island that was so amazing, was so beautiful, so well done. And I thought, oh man, that's gonna be an amazing game. And it comes out and it, it is absolutely nothing like that trailer. And if, you, if, if you've seen the trailer, you like know what I'm talking about. It's fucking bullshit, right? So I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, I, I think they clearly hired another studio to do the trailer. And they did and it was amazing but then the game comes out and i'm like what there's like points and stat points and damage numbers i'm like what is this like what the fuck am i playing oh yeah i'm like what the fuck am i playing okay is there any after credit stuff any new game plus probably not there there's no way there's a new game plus on this there's no way it wouldn't make sense um I guess we're not done. You know, it's kind of weird. The uh, prepper was like, um, Get moving. There's no time to waste. We're on our way. was like next door to me the whole time. Like that whole game. I just have to get back to that roof where I was 
That one time I thought I was being rescued. God, I grabbed all that damn pistol ammo. I know you're gonna get up. I would have died there, I would have been so mad. Is that like, like a secret ending or something? Be because I grabbed that thing. I, I mean, but, but like the game led me by the nose to get the thing. So, I don't know. Uh, let's see here. So, the best survivor score tw two. Okay. So, how? Huh, what was my survivor score? Does it say? Oh, I played on chicken. Oh, you know what? It, yeah, you know what? It doesn't even probably give me a survivor score. Yeah. Oh no, no, oh, there's a score here. Oh no, it doesn't. Yeah, so I don't have a score. Hmm. Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad I finally got to finish this game. Uh, fantastic video game. Definitely highly recommend it. Get Zombie You, play Zombie You, have a good time. Um, it's pretty cheap, I think. I mean, I, I don't even think I bought it. I think it was just there for free. At least when I when I got it anyway, so I'm I'm done. So I yeah I think maybe I'll do Dying Light two next. That that sounds like a good idea. But you know I'll say shit like that, then I'll play something completely different. So who who the fuck knows what I'll end up doing? But either way, I'm done. Throw me a like if you made it this far. I appreciate you. I'm gonna go. I'll see you when I see you.